Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to take you thrifting with me to two different thrift stores. We're going to try donating at a different place to see if they give a coupon. And at the end of the video, I'll show you my thrift haul. Here we go. Okay, the family is down in Apple Valley. We tested out the savers donation thing and we got a coupon. Mom, what's the Super Savers Club? I don't know. I think Super I'm in that. Savers I don't know Club what it is exactly. Of oh, I'll have to remember that. Here's the coupon. Yay! Take that Goodwill. They still give a coupon when you donate. Yay! I like to go thrifting to look for cool vintage items for my collections or decor for my home. I also do a little bit of reselling at a vintage booth at a little shop called The Pink Elephant in Hopkins, Minnesota. I love having that booth because then if I bring something home and I use it for a while and I get tired of it, it's a great place to get rid of stuff. And sometimes I will find things out thrifting that don't fit into any of my collections, but I really wanna make sure it gets passed on to someone who will love it. So I'll buy things for my booth like that as well. I thought this old ceramic made in Japan car was kind of neat. I wasn't sure what these two holes were for though. Any ideas what this might have been originally for? If you like thrifting and yard sales, you've come to the right place. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload a video. I'd greatly appreciate the support. I found this basket that I totally loved and I thought it would be really pretty on my wall. But as I was looking at it, this guy started having a conversation with my friend and I, and it was a little creepy and I got all distracted and then I forgot to buy that basket. <laughs> oh well, wasn't meant to be. I thought this one was neat because it had wood beads like woven into it, which was kind of different. I love old candy and cookie tins. I have a candy tin by this same maker that has like purple in it, really cute. I was thinking about this one potentially for Christmas time. I thought maybe the plaid might be cute in a vignette. One of my favorite things about this Savers is their bag wall. They do such a good job putting together nice bags of stuff. And I always find things on the bag wall. This brown glass bottle caught my eye. I actually have this one. It was sent to me by a viewer. I'm not exactly sure what it's for, but I like to do a brown glass in some of my decor. This bag caught my eye. It had this little Dutch shoe planter and a brass kind of enameled duck, like a mallard duck. I thought those were cool pieces. There's our plate. It's Wilton. $3.99, that's a good price actually. Not bad. Kate met up with us here. Yeah, that's right. No mask. Yay. <laughs> 
I just spotted this on the wall. Oh my goodness, I do not have these. I've seen these dishes at the bins once, but I didn't want the dishes. But I love the salt and pepper because it has the blue in it too, which is really nice. Love it. I'm not gonna get this, but I thought it was cool. It's like a caddy with all the individual salt shakers for your table. Very cute, I like that. Very neat. I do not have that one. Why does it have to be $6? <laughs> Why do you have to find me $6 things? I loved this cherries jar. It's actually a canister. I looked it up. It's from the 80s and I thought it was awesome. But canisters are tough. I, I don't have a lot of space in my kitchen for things like this. So then I was like, well, I could get it and sell it, but I just didn't feel like it. Oh, I have one of those oh, and it works. Good. It works well. This is really cute. Kobe enamelware. Made in China. Oh, oh, oh boy. This is adorable, but it's kind of crackly and crazing and chips. For a dollar, I would get it. For $3.99, no. Oh my goodness, Chris found the perfect shirt. I love it. Amazing. Let the record show that Kate made a purchase. She doesn't often make a purchase, but she bought one today. She loves cats and it's a candle, right? Yeah. And she said it matches one that she already has too, right? Yeah. yeah. So there you go. No one can say she doesn't buy stuff now. <laughs> Next stop, unique. Unique New York. Unique New York. New York's unique. You need, you, you unique, need unique, unique New York. New York. Unique, you guys ever do that tongue twister? are and we just wanted to update that we used that coupon it was great i'm so happy i'm so happy oh, wait, they've got the savers club too yeah it's, that's what robin was telling me and i think it's the same like yeah, and something about points i don't think i joined here though so i need to join here i don't generally buy soft furniture from thrift stores but i did appreciate this recliner it was very clean looking and for 19.99 i thought well if someone really needs a chair not a bad deal on that. I loved this avocado green dresser, totally 60s or 70s. Definitely reminded me of basically everything in my house as a kid. <laughs> and I was thinking about this stool. I always feel like I want these and then I never know what I will do with it. So what ideas do you have? Plant stand, I guess? It's a possibility.
If you saw my last video, you know I've found now a black and on white piece of buffalo china, so I will be looking for more of that, but that was just stoneware made in China. Kate spotted this. We thought it was really cute. I think it's a Lefton piece. $6 was good on that, but at this point in the day, I was kind of tired. You know, you ever get that way thrifting and you just kind of get tired of buying things? So that's sort of the point I was at by the time we hit Unique. I thought this was a really pretty piece of pottery because it had a little bird on it, almost like a black capped chickadee. So I thought that was really cute and different. Oh, look at that. Any of the ones you need? We have this one. I don't recognize the lady in white. Nope, that's Black Widow. Still have that one. And I don't think we have the Hulk one either. We might have. I think one. we have the Hulk. I recognize it. I love vintage kitchen utensils and tools, so I was checking these out. I thought this was a really pretty green glass syrup container. If you're new to my channel, my friend Kate and I, every time we go out thrifting, we look for that Bless This House plate by Wilton or Give Us This Day Our Daily Bread. And we compare prices across thrift stores in the Twin Cities metro area. Usually if that plate is priced high, that means the thrift store generally has higher prices. So it's just something fun that we do. Okay, I hope it was fun coming with me to the thrift stores, to Savers and Unique. I'm out here on my porch. It's going to be a hot one here in Minneapolis, so I wanted to get this filmed nice and early. I did want to mention, some of you have um, asked me about this pillow here and uh, where I've gotten it from, where I got it from, and in good Nicole North Garden fashion, <laughs> I got it secondhand. A friend was getting rid of them and didn't want them anymore and asked me if I liked them, would like to have them because I like birds so much, and of course I said yes. I think they're probably from like Home Depot, that would be my guess, or Target, Walmart, one of those places, but I don't really know. So anyway, I'm glad you guys like them. I'm sorry I can't give you more information about where they it came from. I say them because I actually do have two. One is back on my back deck. 
Okay, so Savers and Unique. So I'm super excited. Some of you told me and Robin Johnson told me that Savers gives a coupon when you donate. So I tested it out and you saw there was in fact a coupon. Super happy about that. I do love Savers because I really love their bag wall. Um, that's where I find a lot of the things that I buy there. So I'm excited about that. And the kids like to shop for clothing there. So it's really nice to have a coupon because they the kids did tell me that their prices are a little higher than Goodwill on the clothes. Uh, but with the coupon, it makes it not matter as much. So I'm going to plan to take a bag there each month. Uh, I always have a bag of donate going in my garage. So if you're a thrifter, it's a good habit to keep. Uh, I go through my clothing or the kids go through their clothing and I'm constantly cycling out decor. If there's things that I've gotten tired of or that no longer fit in a room, I just get rid of it because when you're only paying like a few dollars for an item, you don't have to feel bad, you know, sending it back to the thrift store so that someone else can use it. So I always have a bag going and I'm going to plan to go once a month and donate that down at the Savers or at the Unique. I also found out that one of the days of the week, they do have a 25% off day. I forget what day and I don't remember if it's the same on both stores or what, but that's also another way that I could get an additional discount. So I'm just really trying to find out, make use of the discounts at other stores since Goodwill is being stingy. Okay, so let's go ahead and I will show you what I got. I'm gonna start with Unique because I didn't get too much there. I'll insert footage here first of something I bought at Unique and it's already on my counter upstairs. Okay, so here's the one piece I got from Unique. This is my essential, I always keep an essentials tray in the kitchen. It's just things that we use all the time. It's not worth like putting in a cabinet and they'll just wind up being on the counter. So at least if I have them on a tray, then the family will actually put them back when they're done using them. Sorry, that's the reflection of my ceiling fan. So you can see this is my other syrup container. I'm going to switch them. I just haven't done it yet. So this the syrup will actually go in here. I just think it's fun to have syrup on the counter like a diner. I don't know, just a thing that I do. And I think this one's much prettier than this plain one, so I'll get rid of that, re-thrift that, and use this one instead. Okay, and the only other things I picked up at Unique, because I didn't have a coupon at this point, are these two baskets and these are for my shop. I'm not reselling them, but I just needed some small baskets. They were $1.99 a piece just to like display things or, you know, like for like vintage cards that I sell or little packages of earrings or beads or all different kinds of things. I'm always looking for uh, something to put little things in. And so these will be nice and they'll look nice. And uh, yeah, so these are just gonna be going into my shop. And I mentioned it earlier in the video, but if you don't watch the thrift with me, I do have a little booth in a vintage shop called The Pink Elephant. It's about 10, 15 minutes uh, west of Minneapolis. So it's great, I love it. I love the shop, I love the people. If you're local, you should definitely check that out. Okay, now I'll go ahead and show you all the goodies that I got at Savers. So again, I told you I really love their bag wall. Well, I'll show you the two things I got not from the bag wall. And so I just got two tins. So I picked up this one mostly because I think it will be so cute in a Christmas display because of the plaid. So it is cute. And I actually have another tin by this company. It's like purple and you know, they have great vintage graphics on them. But this one in particular, I got because of the side of it. I can definitely see this being used in like a Christmas uh, vignette using that plaid. So that's what that's for. And then this one I got, it's just so cute. So, you know, I love coffee. And so this one has all different like coffee and tea themed graphics on it. And I just thought that was adorable. It is made by Hallmark. So that's kind of neat. I don't know what year. It just says Hallmark Cards, Kansas City, Missouri, made in the USA. So that's definitely got some age to it. And I don't know what I'll use that one for yet. I don't know if I'll use it in the kitchen or in my craft space. I'm not really sure, but I thought it was cute. And, you know, I think they were each a dollar. This one didn't have a price on it, but she just gave it to me for the same price, which was a dollar forty nine. Okay, now I'll show you what I got from the bag wall. Oh, that's not true. I have one more item that wasn't from the bag wall. I did get this little planter. $2.49. You know, I just love these planters. I, I don't know. I just love them. I have a collection of them. Yes, I collect a lot of things, but that's fine. Cause remember, I can always just drive it to the Goodwill or to the Savers if I feel like I want less stuff. <laughs> but for now, these bring me joy. So I'm just gonna add him into my collection. He's just a happy little kid. He's got his like stack of books. Maybe he's going to school. 
So these make, you know, good vignettes in like September, but also I just have a bunch of them that I just like and I keep on a shelf. There you go. Okay, let's go with what I got from the bag. So I did pick up a bag of Easter items, which I've already opened because I wanted to show Chris. So it came with a few different things. The reason I got this bag is this. It's just a little flocked bunny decor piece and I love it. It's vintage for sure. It could be 80s. It could be older than that. I'm not really sure, but vintage Easter is hard to find. And so when I saw this, I was like, oh, I definitely want that because I can stick it in a little arrangement or a vignette or a, an assemblage, whatever. Um, so I definitely didn't want to leave that behind, but it did come in this bag. The bag was $2.99 and it came with some other things, which I will show you. Uh, so this I'm probably going to sell in my shop this I think is from the 80s. These are like hobby pieces, I think. I don't know if a company did them, but I definitely have seen things that look like this before. And I've sold a pumpkin one. So I'm gonna stick this in my shop at Easter time. It's just like this painted bunny face. So that'll go to the shop for resale. Then two other things. This I'm gonna keep in my own decor. This is just, I think it's like a Dollar Tree item or something, but I thought it was really cute. It's like a little scene in an egg. So I thought that was adorable. And then this I'm just gonna use for crafting. You know, I craft with these things and like vintage blocks and I've sold several assemblages with, she has a little chip on her ear, but in an assemblage that won't matter. So I just thought that was really cute. And you know, really I got it cause I wanted the flocked bunny. So, okay, the next bag I picked up was this and they are two, I'll show you here and then we'll open it up. So it was $2.99. And it's two pewter pieces. And at Christmas time, I love to put bottle brush trees into things like this. They just make really cute little displays at Christmas time with the bottle brush trees. And this says Pewter by Wilcox is the mark. So just a cream and sugar. I will probably put this in my China hutch with bottle brush trees in it at Christmas time. Uh, it's just one of my favorite things to do around that time of year. Okay, in the next bag, I got, it was also $2.99. And I bought this bag of Holland America Line coasters. Now that seems really random, but cruise ship souvenirs sell for me. So I thought I would try these and they're blue and white, which is pretty popular, you know. I don't know the year on these, but clearly someone uh, liked to go on Holland America Cruise ships. I don't even know if this line still exists. I really haven't looked anything up, but um, yeah. So here's another one. This one says SS Amsterdam 1880 to 1884. So maybe the cruise line was named. I don't, I really have no idea, but so I thought I would just try these in my shop. Again, I only paid $3. Worst case scenario, I have a bunch of nice coasters, which I'm always looking for. You know, I've told you that before in my house, but I am going to try reselling those. Okay, and the last bag of goodies that I got was this one. It was also $2.99. That seemed to be the going price on the bag wall this week. But again, remember I had my coupon. All of these bags were 60 cents off. So they were all about $2.40. I got this because of this. I have, I mentioned in the video, I've seen this pattern before, but I've only seen it in dishes. And I don't need strawberry dishes, but I did. I love this pattern because I don't know if you can see, but it has blue in it, which is just kind of different, you know, and I like a little blue here and there. Uh, so I really like these because of the blue and I have one set of strawberry uh, salt and pepper, which I'm using on my table. And so these I'm gonna put in the kitchen, so. I just think they're real cute. They're made in China. I mean, nothing, you know, nothing special other than the fact that I really like the graphic and I like the fact that there's blue in it, which is just different. Okay, the other thing that came in there was a little random and they stapled it. Brilliant. So they stapled this tray. <laughs> but these trays are useful for crafting. Um, and that's probably what I'll use this for. You know, if you're doing something with beads or little little things it's good it's a way to corral stuff on your craft table while you're crafting i don't know anything about this other than it's a scene gosh it almost looks like holly hobby hmm. she's not wearing a bonnet but it kind of looks like it i don't know it's not marked so i'm sure it's not authentic but anyway so i'll probably just put this in my craft stuff uh because i'm always looking for little trays like this 
As I was editing, I realized that I forgot to put this into my haul. This is my new thermos. I love this thing. I used it on the 4th of July. I had it displayed with a picnic basket. You can see the picture on my Instagram, but I just think it's so cute. You know, I love collecting old thermoses. So I don't have a lot of the stainless ones. I usually get ones with a print, but I thought this one was cute enough with the handle. I love it and I'm happy to add it to my collection. Okay. And that's all that I have today. So that was my haul from Savers and from Unique. Hope it was enjoyable to see. And don't forget on Friday, I'm going to have, I'm hosting the Thrift Your Decor Challenge. So I will have a video with lots of, with my things and then lots of entries that other people have sent in, people who are uh, subscribers or viewers. So that'll be in my video, but then there's gonna be a playlist of other people putting videos up. So that, that should be fun. And then also on the 13th, there is a thrift shop hop that I'm hosting. You guys really liked that the last time. So I got a bunch of thrifting people together and we each did like a thrift with me and showing you our haul. So that'll be fun. That'll be also on another playlist on the 13th. So that's what's coming up soon. I hope you're having a great day. Stay cool and I will see you in my next video. Bye.